Let's turn these into jerky. First things first, grab your mushrooms. I'm using king oyster because they're really nice and they have a really good meaty texture. We're gonna be cutting these into nice thin strips. You can either use a mandolin or do what I'm doing, cutting them in half and then going right down the line. You're gonna want your mushrooms about this thin. Uh, remember, they will be shrinking when they dehydrate in the dehydrator. All right, once you got all your mushroom strips done, it's time to make the marinade. Soy sauce. Some powdered ginger. Parsley. Red pepper flakes for some spice. Don't go too heavy on the red chili flakes. Most of you guys who watch me are white as snow. Now for the special stuff though. I'm gonna be using honey. Any kind of honey works, but I'm gonna be using some homemade orange infused honey. And a little bit of minced garlic. Now we're gonna dilute this with a little bit of water because you don't want it being too salty. Give it a good old taste, make sure it's all good. That was pretty solid. Now drop in your mushrooms. Now give it a good old shake. And we're gonna leave this in the fridge for about an hour on its side. That way we're gonna let all the mushrooms go. We'll move it around every so often and then we'll get dehydrated. All right, guys, the mushroom's looking pretty good. They're nice and flat. They started to uh, get a little limp. We're gonna drain off this liquid and we're gonna layer it in the dehydrator. All right, make sure when you're using a dehydrator too, you wanna give them lots of room. So that way you get proper air. All right, lid on. We're gonna go eight hours at 122 degrees. Hey, so they're actually done. Uh, I only did it for three hours. Uh, definitely that's what you should be doing instead of the eight hours or six hours, whatever I said. But yeah, let's give it a try. Hmm. Yeah, they're pretty solid. Still got that really good mushroom texture, but they've pretty much cooked themselves. They have a really nice little soy texture uh, taste. It's really good, honestly. I would definitely make these again. And yeah, these things will last a while, especially if you toss them in the fridge, but you'll probably leave them out for like about a month or so in a cool, dry area. But anyways, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time.